Welcome to SeedWorld 360 Insiders. For 30 years, 2020 has been a trusted name in the industry, steadily evolving from a focus on lab diagnostics to providing full cycle R&D support, including greenhouse and field monitoring. This continued growth exemplifies that innovation and progress never really stops. Good afternoon, Moses. Thanks for taking time to chat with me today about 2020's expanding role into field trials. That sounds exciting. Thank you for having me, Dawn. Of course. Let's just dive right in by taking a look at the why. Can you share what prompted 2020's decision to expand its focus beyond lab diagnostics, which has been 30 years that you've been doing it, to invest in field-level trials? So, Dawn, 2020 C Labs um, started in 1989. Um, We were the first private uh, lab to go into seed testing in Canada. So we hold quite a a few firsts. We've been leading in the space of innovation for quite a while. Um, we set up our lab to run as a high throughput lab and also to provide as much support for testing to our customers. Uh, we, we realized um, that in the lab, a lot of the tests that we do are limited to time and space within the lab. And so for most of the testing, um, a good example is a Canadian germination test. Uh, most of them are required to go for up to a maximum of about 14 days. Um, that leaves quite a, a huge gap in terms of um, the knowledge that we can gain from plant growth over time. And so it was it was almost imperative um, to essentially look beyond um, the limited time that we had for testing in the lab and ask ourselves the questions, what happens if this grew a little bit more? And so that's that's one question that we've always tried to answer. Can you just kind of drill in a little bit more about like the advantages to to incorporating this into your program? It's been great <laughs> having that as a, as a service to provide to our customers. Um, one, one way is that it certainly supports our own R&D work. 2020 Seed Labs invest heavily in developing new tests for growers. A good example is recently Bacteria Leaf Streak has been in the news and a lot of growers are paying a lot of attention to Bacteria Leaf Streak. We invested quite a bit of money to develop a test that could detect Bacteria Leaf Streak uh, in a sample and as such inform growers if they had the bacteria or not. Um, right away, the next question that came up is, okay, how does the results, how does a test positive correlate with disease incidence and severity in the field? That is a question that has to be answered. Um, and so that is a good example where 2020 C Labs partnered with AFC Lacombe uh, to set up field trials where we're trying to correlate data from our lab tests to disease severity and incidents out in the field. That would give a very good idea to the grower at, to determine the threshold for control. So at what level do we consider this high enough that it requires control? Otherwise, we'll see a, a negative impact on, on the growth out in the field. So those are ways that we are constantly incorporating field trial level stuff into our diagnosis in the lab. Can you discuss, I guess, um, how it has changed your approach with how you deal with your clients and your customers? Well, like I said, we're we're in an age now where customers or farmers are constantly looking for as much information to make decisions. Farming is no longer about go out, put some seed in the ground and go rest. The, the, The farmer needs as much information as possible to make the um, money important decisions um, every day in, day in and day out. And so our approach has always been, how can we provide growers with as much information as possible? Um, so another example that I can raise is recently mechanical damage um, in, in large seeded pulses has been a big issue, um, especially coming from a, from a year like last year where it was very, very dry at the time of harvest. You have the incidence of mechanical damage increasing drastically. Um, we, we in the lab have a standard that is supplied by the CFIA that it takes, um, essentially how we're to go about analyzing, um, samples in the lab. But we realized that, and we got a lot of feedback from growers. And again, it's a, it's a feedback loop. We provide a test, the growers come back to us with feedback and we adjust accordingly. So we received some feedback from growers where they said, Oh, a lot of the samples that you rated as low ended up really growing out in the field. And so our approach then was to decide, okay, we're going to move this beyond just our lab testing and take the sample into our greenhouse. So the first approach was take it to a greenhouse. We grew it a little bit longer and we realized that 
by day 16, 17, 18, a number of those plants that we initially would consider as not growing were starting to grow. So our next step then was to establish a field trial. So we went out into the field in collaboration with DL Seeds and we set up um, plot trials where we planted seeds that had really high levels of mechanical damage and some didn't. And we're looking at comparisons. Um, we've got some useful data from that. Um, our next approach is to put on a bigger trial. Um, and then from that, we will be able to gather enough information, submit that to CFI and try and get CFI to make some decisions to change how we go about analyzing results. The end goal is that the grower who submits us, who submits his samples to us would have more confidence in the results that we provide. As a company that's been around for 30 years, yeah. it, you, there's a legacy there and it would be very easy to sort of rest on your laurels, kind of, you know, be okay with the status quo. Mm -hmm. Why is it important for 2020 to continue growing and expanding? At 2020 C Labs, our motto is never stop growing. So that's the first reason. Uh, the, the next, the other reason is that um, we we understand that the work that we do um, is in an environment that is constantly changing. Um, the world of science, the world of uh, technology is constantly advancing. Um, the the level of information, and like I said, that growers were looking for five years ago, 10 years ago, is not the same. A lot of growers are going into precision farming, and so they need more information. Um, our goal is to be able to provide them that information because we understand that their business is tied to their livelihoods. And so any way we can support them to get their business going, um, the long run is that the whole Canadian ag system benefits, and then we benefit as well as the lab. 